The problem was so bad it was choking the life out of Kaneohe Bay, but something surprising has happened. KITV Force Lari Yamada has new information on what's happened to hundreds of acres of invasive algae in the bay. It was a big surprise. Uh, we're used to seeing huge mats of algae. There are reefs where it was 90 to 100 percent just covered in algae. Ten years ago, the state of Kaneohe Bay on life support. Invasive algae was spreading everywhere. We're talking about hundreds of acres of algae. Crews from the Department of Land and Natural Resources and the Nature Conservancy took action, using super suckers to vacuum up gobs of algae. Since then, the DLNR has spent several hundred thousand dollars a year getting the big stuff and harvesting and deploying armies of sea urchins to nibble up the small stuff. Our biggest fear was that it was going to grow out of the bay and then up the windward coast around the North Shore. It would be really hard to control it once it got out of the bay. But in recent months, something unexpected has happened. Algae levels have plummeted to record lows, less than 1% across Kaneohe Bay. We're thinking uh, some of the same unusual conditions that are affecting our coral, the warm water temperatures, maybe that uh, is impacting the invasive algae as well. Other theories include freshwater runoff from all the storm events that we've been getting. Invasive algae doesn't grow well with freshwater. All theories at this point. They're also seeing high numbers of the kind of fish that eat plants, including algae. But biologists also not sure why. It gives us time. Time to double up sea urchin populations. The Oceanic Institute has opened a second hatchery. And time to help the coral, suffering from El Nino's warm waters. The fact that they don't have to fight the algae right now makes it more likely that some of the reefs can recover from this major bleaching event. It's not an easy job trying to figure out what's going on out there, especially as our climate's changing, our ocean temperatures are changing constantly, so it's, it's always a big challenge to try to stay ahead. Of Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. And crews will continue that work every week, adding sea urchins, and they'll be closely monitoring those algae levels.